people that, you know, a lot of the fears people have about the three box of V2 King teaming still are kind of there, which is that when they get split up really hard, uh, there are vulnerabilities that they have that really good teams exploit. And the question is, are Ice and over Triforce going to be quick enough to the point where they can separate them into the 1v1s, switch to the 2v1, and try to kill Puff early? Because, you know, there is that meme that, like, oh, Puff is really early to kill, but then she lives to 160 in singles. Yeah. In doubles, I, I see Puff being able to be killed a lot more quickly and reliably. I would agree. I also think that um, Ice is the second best box out of Wave Shine in the game. That is that is my firm opinion is that he is one of the quickest, He's fastest so people out of Wave Shine. Yeah, even that little bit right there was so fast. And look at that drop down up air from Ledge and just taking positioning with Firefox. And He's aware of what he wants. Yeah. This is a man that has every idea of his desires. Over Triforce, of course, keeping up his tour of the U.S. after Evo. He was upset by Link, the Finland uh, representative, but still doing a good job here at the beginning of this match. All right, great pickup there. I like the slide off there to snap to ledge and be able to just get that Ooh. positioning. Good cognizance by over. Maybe not so good of a job as it gets forward smash. Yeah. It happens. It happens. You can have good stuff and then still mess up. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, a little bit of a reverse fair that was supposed to be covering the edge for Mitsu King, but he still makes it back. Yeah, all right. Gets caught. Ooh. Soft hit back here. Good trade off there on the ledge. They actually are able to sneak Mitsu King off. Nice. So these are the grab combos we were looking for from Milkman and Zane yeah. that just weren't coming through. So Ice and uh, over Triforce doing a good job. All right, going high. I like that fade back drill all the way to the ledge, just making sure he's able to save his opponent, get him out of his stun, get him out of lag a little bit faster, whatever makes up. Yeah, and see that moment with Hungrybox grabbing and Mitsu King like kind of having a delay on running forward to go and pick it up. Um, it ends up working out, but it's those moments that I want to see them clean up throughout the tournament to be ready for Grands, yeah. if they're going to make it there. I mean, the way it's looking right now, at least for game one, it's, it's seeming like winner's side top 12 is practically sure. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, 5-3. to three. Hungerbox has been having a time with the board smash. He has. I mean, it covers a ton of options. Where it's like, if, if she wants to wave dash forward, she's stuck in those frames. She's right. stuck in the animation just for a bit. Uh, but it's enough time for Puff to be able to punish it accordingly. And it seems like Over is doing a ton of either roll or wave dash out of shield. Uh, and I always visualize Puff's forward smash as like a mark forward smash. The knockback growth is, is, is similar at higher percents. It's just such a strong, strong move that sometimes we forget that it, it isn't just like Hbox taking the easy mode. It's legitimately the best option. It's strong, too. It is very, very strong. It's a good move. Okay. The yeah, blue team on its last stocks over at extremely high percents. And it's looking a little scary here. It's reminding me a little bit of the uh, Amsa San team where they took it real close game one. Then game two, they took it like close again. But it always felt like Hungrybox and Mewtwo King had the control. Had control, didn't yeah. have to really oh. press their foot on the gas. Missing there was dash. a moment in that game two with uh, Amsa that they weren't in control, but. Yeah. I don't know, Hungrybox and Mewtwo King just have been doing the same thing in doubles for so long that it's very easy for them to have that mental stability you look for under pressure when you're in the last stocks and airs or when the other team takes yeah. the lead. When, when you think about Melee as a whole, it's kind of an, an odd outlier from other fighting games because of how our top players are structured. Having five players stand alone from the rest in any way, shape, or form Ooh. is in its own right insane. But a nice early kill. And being so hyper consistent is just right. mind boggling. And so for them teaming and then being able to maintain their game plans, then being able to maintain their punish games, yeah. everything. Absolutely crazy. But uh, M2K had a bit of an unfortunate start there. Yeah. Over Triforce having a little bit of trouble fighting out of the corner, but manages to hand it off to Ice. They got great stage control, but Over Triforce is not able to cover what Ice also avoids. Yeah. Also, fade in Nair is surprisingly hard to deal with at times. Yeah. Uh, when a puff is just coming into your space with Nair, everything under her is really hard to deal with unless you have good distance. Yeah. That, in that situation in particular, where Hungrybox is trying to sneak his way backstage underneath two of his opponents, knowing full well that Mewtwo King is just going to be on the edge. Oh. Uh, that's what I'm always worried about with this team is 
It's explicitly leaving Hunter Fox to 1v2. Did you see that? He just Sakurai comboed him. Full full down Firefox into up there. It didn't kill. Gosh, if it wasn't silly. I'll be, <laughs> if, if, listen, if Fox actually had like worse moves, I bet people would side be up be way more on stage. It's not that bad. The end lag is like No, it's forgiving. it's so negligible. If if you don't bounce, it's really good. But if you hit someone with it and you bounce, it's fine. Yeah. And that is Ice's first stock gone over Drive Force Ooh. getting demolished this game. Oh, oh my goodness. That is actually something that um, I remember Armada and Leffen talking about. They're like, we'll never arrest you for a bad up smash on a shield. But lo and behold, maybe a, a new age here. Yeah. And doubles is different. Yeah. Hungrybox's rests and doubles are legendary. They're bolder, for sure. He's bold. He's a bold oh! man. He's a bold man. Great DI, though, by Ice. Yeah. But back throw. Just drops now down. And Tex. Yep. And over Triforce left, a single tier. Yeah. To shed for the Europeans. I mean, they're still Sweden in the way. That is true. That's they're true. hanging out. All right. The dream of winners of winners uh, finals for international <laughs> dies with the last rest. It happens. It really does. Really well played, though, to Hungerbox. 